All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how you can change um, a font that you currently have typed out to maybe a writing style type of font that's already built into Cric. And what writing style type font uh, will do for you is basically Cricut has already pre-installed some fonts that look very much like handwriting. And it works out great whenever you're doing cards or tags. And because the Cricut machine has that pen holder, this writing style type of font works out fabulous uh, when you know how to piece it all together. So we're going to talk about how we can convert this to a writing style. And then we're going to show you how you would utilize it. Maybe you have a card or maybe you found this tag. And if you want to follow along with this video, I'll post a link down below this video so that you are able to access this exact same file. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and first, uh, as you can see, this is just a normal text font that I have right here. And if I go to the edit panel, it's utilizing Basecamp. Now, like I said, Cricut has um, some writing font that we can utilize for this project. And what I always like to do whenever I'm dealing with fonts uh, is up here. I like to filter it because I don't want to search through thousands and thousands of fonts in order to find what I want. And luckily enough, they have has writing style as a filter. And so when I click that, uh, this is brought up right here. I have several to choose from, and some do cost money, some do not. But as as I told you before, that these fonts here will have. Uh, somewhat of a writing style to it and you can choose from any of these that are right here and they will look good and they will look as if someone actually drew it with a pen okay so once you have it selected you can actually move it up to where you would like it to write okay and the next thing that I want to do is I want to permanently like uh, attach this to this yellow part right here so when it comes time for me to cut the yellow I would like it to write as well so how do we do that well let's go take a look at our layers panel and just from looking at it right now I can see that this thing is basically grouped together and when I selected this tab tag right here uh, we notice that the ungroup button can be clicked and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to ungroup it first and you can see that our writing has gone but it's just based upon the ordering of items. So if I select this right here and I click arrange and send to back we'll see our writing. Okay. So what we have to do next is we want to select the writing. So if you take a look right here, we have that text right here. That's the writing. And then we also have the tab. Now with those both selected, I'm going to hold the uh, shift button down. So now I have those two selected. I need to click the attach button. Like I said, we need to attach that writing to that yellow portion of the tab. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. So I'm missing that little red donut, but it's it's still here. I just need to move it to the front. So with it selected, I can go to arrange and then move to front and it's back where it should be. And now I can go ahead and group it if I wish and everything should go fine. So let's go ahead and see that. So I click go and there's my little red donut for the tab. And then over here, you can see what it's going to do. So it's going to uh, write and cut all on that. So that's what the attach button will do. That's how we can utilize the handwriting style font and then actually apply that to our project so that it will actually cut and write on that same piece of paper.